That's life. Joker 2 fully a duh. Hit its second weekend, making it the worst drop in DC history. 89%. This movie is tanking hard. I have two reviews on the channel if you want to check them out over here. In this video, I want to discuss whether or not it can achieve cult classic status. Does it have what it takes to become a cult classic? Or will this die and be buried and never see the light of day from anyone ever again? Let's look into it. To explore whether Joker Folia de has the potential to become a cult classic is important to first understand what makes a movie achieve that status. Cult classics are typically films that may not have had massive mainstream success at first, but develop a dedicated, passionate following over time. These films are often divisive, unconventional, and frequently push the boundaries of their genres. They usually introduce unique perspectives, memorable characters, or iconic scenes that resonate deeply with a particular subculture or audience. A key aspect of cult classics is their ability to invite repeat viewings and inspire discussions, often due to their layered narratives or polarizing elements. Looking at Joker Folia de, there are several factors that align it with the traits of a cult classic. First and foremost, the film builds on the success and controversy of the first Joker film, which already had elements of a cult classic in its DNA. It was gritty, character-driven, and its portrayal of Arthur Fleck's descent into madness invited strong reactions, both positive and negative. The same ingredients are at play in Folia de, but with added twists of musical sequences and a deeper exploration of Arthur's psyche, including his relationship with Lee Quinzel. The film's blending of genres, particularly the inclusion of musical elements to convey Arthur's mental state, is unconventional. This creative risk could alienate some viewers, but it also stands as a unique artistic choice that may resonate deeply with a niche audience, especially those who appreciate films that challenge traditional storytelling formats, the double meaning behind the title, exploring the shared psychos between Arthur and his Joker persona, as well as between him and Harley, adds the layered storytelling that cult audiences often gravitate towards. Additionally, Folia de may find its way into cult classic status because of its themes. The exploration of mental illness, identity, and society's rejection of individuals who don't conform to norms speaks to many cultural anxieties of today. Like the first film, it encourages debate over whether it's a social commentary or just an extreme character study, which can fuel the kind of ongoing discussions that help movies endure in cult space. However, whether Joker for Leo Duke can achieve cult status also depends on how it's received over time. If its divisive elements lead to polarized reactions, people either loving or hating it, it could certainly develop the strong, loyal, following that's required. Another key factor will be how future audiences engage with its unique storytelling, musical elements, and performances. Lady Gaga's portrayal of Harley Quinn will likely be a focal point for fans and could drive lasting interest in the film, especially given her existing fan base and the performance-driven nature of the role. In conclusion, Joker Folia de has the right ingredients to potentially become a cult classic. Its risks with narrative style, blending of genres, and deep psychological themes make it the type of film that could be discussed, analyzed, and rewatched for years. While it may not achieve widespread mainstream success, it could certainly find a place as a beloved and enduring film for a particular audience, especially as its reputation grows and more people come to appreciate its unique take on the Joker's history. Whether anyone appreciates <laughs> this take on the Joker remains to be seen. That being said, it's got the musical elements. This could be, you know, the midnight screening and people show up to the theater and sing along and sing and dance, kind of like they do with Rocky Horror Picture Show. It ain't no Rocky Horror Picture Show, but could it possibly lead to something like that? Will people find an appreciation for Joker Folie a de over time? I, there's a lot of ingredients to this movie that would suggest it would and it could. The thing is, it's so divisive and the way they deconstruct Arthur Fleck, deconstruct the Joker and rip him apart and obviously do what they do with him in the movie that it could be a tough pill for people to swallow. However, time heals all wounds and the most random movies, ones you would not expect to achieve cult status, typically achieve cult status. So Joker Folia de, 
I think has the ingredients to become one. Whether or not it will, that remains to be seen. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Joker Felia de cult status, yay or nay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate your time. May the force of others be with you.